What's up, SMT Nation? It's your boy, the SMT. We're in Westlake, Ohio. I'm over at the post office. You'll see that it's located right there. And off in the cut, I don't know if you guys can see it there behind these trees, is an AT&T site. It's a tower site. I'm not sure what exactly that qualifies as. I mean, it's, um, I mean, it's pretty much a full scale site. Maybe it's considered a CRAN. I, I don't think so. I guess we'll just call it a small cell. So we got that site there. Sorry for the shaky video. That's the, um, the AT&T site right on the corner of like the gas stations. There's a couple over here. Uh, there's a library to my left. You can't really see it from here. Uh, but there's also a Verizon wireless small cell. I'll show you guys right there. And they're serving. All right, so let's go ahead and do an AT&T speed test first. You'll see it does say 5GE. We've got a ping time of 22 milliseconds. And as we're running that test and we'll go Go ahead and just run the T-Mobile here since we're here. And then I'll switch over the eSIM on this iPhone 12. This is the Pixel 5, by the way. It's the iPhone 12. This one has a dual SIM. It's running Verizon and AT&T. So, um, yeah, there we go for the T-Mobile. The we got a 20 millisecond ping. We got a 159 on the down, 160 on the down. So that's pretty fast, that uplink. I think they've been doing upgrades to the uplink. Big shout out to Zero Cool. He's been keeping me posted on that. I got some more testing I'm gonna do downtown. But the uplink is winning there, bro. Good stuff, 87 on the uplink. AT&T 61 down, 26 up. Um, not sure if it's just a lot of traffic on that tower site, that micro cell there in the back, but you know, you'll see it's, it's definitely doing its job. If that wasn't there, I think we'd be in trouble. All right, so they're addressing their congestion issues. They're densifying their network. And then I think what we'll do is after this, we'll go ahead and run the speed test for Verizon and see how they're holding up. All right, so we got 62 on the down. We got about 26 on the up there. I'm gonna go ahead and switch the eSIM. I'm gonna turn off the AT&T SIM and turn on my Verizon SIM. All right, we're back and we got the Verizon line now active on the eSIM. It's kind of nice, all you gotta do is just switch off the AT&T SIM and boom, the Verizon one's in there reading a physical SIM, you'll see Verizon. And we've got a 29 millisecond ping. Pretty nice there on the downlink. Looks like we're gonna be hanging around that 200 megabit per second mark. Pretty nice stuff. Uplink should be good too, wow. So between T-Mobile and Verizon, that's, uh, that's the uplink over here, man. That's really nice. 197 down, we got about 80 on the up. That's pretty nice from Verizon. Uh, this is one of the advantages of densifying a network through small cells is it allows you to plug up gaps in coverage and also offer capacity and really boost uplink speeds. That's what a lot of people fail to realize is that with T-Mobile not really emphasizing or putting much effort into small cells, those are, you know, things that they can't do as well. Not really densification, you know, as a strong suit of what they do with their network. But hopefully that changes in the near future. Hashtag small cells. You know, if you guys want to do that for me, hashtag small cells. Yeah. 207 on the down, 77 on the up, 27 millisecond ping. There you have it. AT&T, Verizon, and T-Mobile here. AT&T and Verizon doing the small cell thing. Nice stuff there from all the carriers providing capacity and speeds for their customers. Uh, go ahead and sound off in the comment section below what you thought of the testing. What do you think of uh, you guys fans of small cells? I know I am. Uh, some people, you know, Neville Ray, <laughs> T-Mobile, not really big on small cells. I disagree with the approach, and here's an example as to why I do like small cells. Thanks for watching. Comment below what you thought of the testing. Rate this video, give it a like and a share. And um, yeah, and, and for the person who says uh, I don't test AT&T enough, I, I don't think they've been watching all my videos. Anyways, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you for taking this opportunity to watch the SMT YouTube channel. If you appreciated this video, give it a like and a share to all your favorite social media platforms. Thank you in advance for that. Also, check out some of the links in the description box. We have the SMT Patreon page. We also have the Twitter handle at Sneed Tech. And do check out the audio-only podcast available on all the major podcast platforms. And if you are new and have not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and activate the bell notification icon so you never miss an upload from the SMT. We'll catch you on the next video. Peace.